Hello everyone and welcome back to Waverly Reads. Today I'm going to be doing the Totally Should Have book tag. I was tagged by Tegan over at Bookworm. We had to do this tag quite a while ago now, but the original tag was made by Emma over at Emma Books and I will leave both their videos and channels in the description bar down below. So let's get into it. Number one. Totally should have gone sequel. Hey, this is The Host by Stephanie Meyer. I researched this on Goodreads and apparently this is supposed to be a trilogy. However, no other works have been released for it. That kind of really, really bugs me because I wish that there were so many more books. It's supposed to be, but she hasn't written any. It kind of bugs me that she wrote this, Twilight, the 10th anniversary, but she still hasn't written anything for The Host. People have said that she's given up writing, but obviously she hasn't. She's still writing Midnight Sun as well, so I think she's put the hose on hold for Twilight and Edward's point of view. Number two, totally should have had a spin-off series. Hey, this is The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. I would love to have like, maybe not a spin-off series, but like a prequel or something like that from like the first Hunger Games. That must have been intense as hell. Hamish's time in The Hunger Games, that would also be cool. I know we got little aspects of the other Hunger Games because of Catching Fire, but it would be awesome to actually see them in their point of view. Number three. An author that should totally write more books. To me, this is Veronica Roth. This comes as no surprise to you. She's one of my favourite authors and I wish she would write so much more. I know that she's recently released a book or a book is going to be coming out soon or something like that, but I still want more so Veronica get on it. Before, a character that totally should have ended up with someone else. This is up to the point that I am currently reading, but it has to be Zoe from A House of Night. I can't explain this much because people I know are reading this right now and they will understand and it will be spoilers and also it's spoilers for anyone who hasn't read it. So I'm just going to leave it with that but she totally should end up with a certain person and she isn't right now. So honestly I don't think I'm going to continue with the series so I might not ever find out if she does actually end up with that person which sucks. Number 5. Totally should have ended differently. And we're going back to Divergent, it seems to be all I can talk about, and Allegiant. That totally should have ended differently, but at the same time I loved the way it ended. I mean, I'm really torn. I wished that a certain person had lived, but they didn't. But it's okay, I've come to terms with it, and I'm fine. Number six. Totally should have had a movie. To me, this has to be the Shiver Trilogy by Maggie Stevedo. Maggie's interpretation of werewolves is so much different to a lot of different things I've seen, and I think that would be amazing to put into a movie just so more people can experience it. Reading isn't for everyone, but I think everyone can enjoy a movie, and I think everyone would enjoy this movie. Especially younger audiences, as in teenagers and kids, might even enjoy it. Number seven. Totally should have had a TV show. It was as Percy Jackson. We all know, we all no, the Percy Jackson movies suck. Okay on their own, like if they weren't based on a book, the movies are actually okay. The fact that they differ from the book so much, like very, very few accurate things in, the, in those movies, it's not good as a book based movie. But I think if they did a TV show, if they did with the Mortal Instruments, it would be a lot more accurate, still wouldn't be perfect, but it would be a lot more accurate and you would get a lot more out of it. Number eight. Totally should have only had one point of view. I mean, this is the Fifth Way series by Rick Yancey. Not that it was necessarily bad, some bad between point of views, but the fact that it didn't proclaim who was speaking and I had to work that out and it was difficult because I'm not good with character names in the first half of the book. Like, honestly, I suck at remembering names. So, point of view changes that don't tell me who's speaking is just the worst for me. Yeah. Either write it in one point of view or specify who I'm reading. Number nine. Totally should have had a cover change. Hey, this is British Terabithia by Catherine Patterson. I think with the subject of the book, it, they could do so much more with the covers, some more imagination into it, add some more childhood things into it, just so much more beautiful. But no, instead we've got this really ugly cover that I don't like. Number ten. Totally should have kept the original covers. I'm going to be biased and say any book with a movie cover. Don't put movie covers on a book, like why? It's really... Number 11. Totally should have stopped at book one. And this is going to be Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. There was no need to add three more books, but I could have changed at the end of book one and that would be it. No, instead we had to bring the werewolves into it, we had to bring new ones into it, we had to bring the Volturi into it, we had to bring a child into it, we had to bring a marriage into it. It wasn't needed, he could have let her change, it could have ended like that. Enough said. I'm a fan of Twilight and saying that, so that was the Totally Should Have book tag. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below which series you think should have had a spin-off. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. My name is Waverly and now I love to read. Bye!
I crouch low on my heels and stare at him. The children is actually dead. His lips are pallid and dry from the lack of hydration, just like the rest of us. The gash of his eyebrow bleeds from where I slashed at him with my knife.